Hi, I'm Doxon Wedge. Today we're going to be looking at Riders Republic. You're going to be checking out the photo mode for this. I do a lot of photography on my own time in the real world. I've been getting into photo modes and video games a bit more lately with Far Cry 3, but Riders Republic recently came out and had a free open play day. So we're going to take a look at that, see how the photo mode stacks up to some other video games, and see if we can take some good photos. Hopefully at the end of it, you'll have a good idea how photo mode works, and maybe you'll pick up some tips along the way. Oh, that's not, I need to get used to the camera mode. Oh my God. I'm in the air. Okay, so it turns out that's an interesting trick we should keep in mind, actually. So the camera normally centers around the player, but if you're in the map, if you're in the map or you're transitioning out of the map, you can hit the photo mode button as it does the transition and get stuck way up in the air. So that's actually an interesting trick. Like we could be taking a shot like this. Can I go, how do I go up and down? Okay. Down looking up. The The problem is over here. Yeah, that doesn't look great, does it? So I gotta keep that in mind. Um, but we can do something like this. Okay, so this is good. This is something that Far Cry doesn't do. That time of day loops. <laughs> That's a simple thing, but it's really helpful. Uh, so I sort of like this color. Dust. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. I don't think we want any of that. We can add some snow. Or rain. I think we just want snow for now. Okay, fog. Fog is nice. When you're doing tree photography, I love some fog. It also helps make the snow look a bit snowier. Uh, and maybe we want time of day to be a bit different. Oh yeah, hey, I like that. The purple is really nice. Any filters that help? Red, orange, black and white. I do like black and white, although not in this photo. See, I think this is probably closer to what it is, but I think this is, okay. So yeah, I think this I like the best. It's the nice snowy feel. Can we take a picture? Okay, we took the photo. Cool. So we got our first photo. It's it's okay. It's meh. This was really just to, to try it out and see what the photo mode is like. Uh, so things we learned. Uh, depth of field. Settings are weird. We need to figure out how that works. Map zoom works with photo mode. So you can use map zoom to get higher vantage points than you would normally. Time of day slider loops. That's good. I do like that. You can control the sun peak. I think that's what azimuth is. Independent of time of day. Oh, hey, that's much better. I mean, that itself is not much better. We want it on this side, maybe. I mean, we really want it on the other side so that this side is not so clustered. Something like this. I quite like that, actually. Uh, keeping the trees off. Whoa. Oh no, I can't point. I'm trying to keep these trees either out of it or cut off to some extent. Something like this. I like that. Um, so cool. I like being able to adjust the sun as a myth. Uh, being able to adjust fog independently of weather conditions. Also good. Yeah, so depth of field and filters isn't great. Filters... I wish they were named. I have a hard time with unnamed filters. I can't really tell the difference between these filters based on the picture that they listed. That's a bit unfortunate. Depth of field, we need to play with more because I have no idea what it does. In Far Cry and in other cameras, you can adjust things like the f-stop to, uh, well, f-stop really adjusts the depth of field, but you can adjust the focal length of the image uh, to move the depth of field backwards and forwards. So if you have a two meter depth of field focused at like two meters, you would get from one to three meters. If you have a two meter depth of field focused at four meters, you would have a depth of field from three to five rather than one to three. 
Um, so you could take that two meter depth of field and move it forward and back with the focus. But with this depth of field, I don't know what it's doing. Uh, we don't actually have anything close enough to make that happen uh, or to actually see it. So we'll have to play around with that. Ow. So let's see what depth of field does. Oh, hi, friend. Okay, so photo mode resets all the settings between things. Good to know. That's good to know. Be nice if we could get me lit and the rock not lit, something like that. And then we can go depth of field. What does this do? Okay. Is it, is my writer just always in focus? So this depth of field. So, okay, you can see some things in the background are not in focus, but if I zoom in, my writer is in focus. And as I increase depth of field, I'm watching, the areas I'm watching are the front of the front tire and the rock in the background. So you can see when I increase depth of field, the front of the front tire blurs. So it is expanding the depth of field both ways. It is expanding it towards the camera and away from the camera. And if I do that more, you can start to see the rock come into focus as well. So it is expanding it, uh, it seems, from my player. So the player stays in focus the entire time. I cannot adjust the focus to somewhere else, which makes sense if your photo mode is only interested in photographing the player. But if you're interested in taking pictures of the landscape, maybe not. So we'll have to keep that in mind that this photo mode is very interested in the player, which makes sense uh, for this game. But it is a restriction we'll have to work with. You know, we can't move the focus backward if I want to get a photo with my player blurred out in the background in focus. So the game bugged and locked me in an event and I had to restart and now I'm glitched out. That's fine. That's what we're going with. We're actually going to use the glitch. Something like this. And then we should bring down depth of field a lot. <laughs> Ooh, that one pops pretty nice. So we can do that. And then the sun. Nope. I do like the shadows on this, though. The shadows right there are pretty good. We could do like a foggy, rainy scene. Probably want wetness. I don't know what that means. Sun showers. Sort of muted picture. I like that a lot, actually. So one thing that has been bugging me is snapping the screenshot with A does not save the screenshot on my computer. It uploads it. That's a bear. Okay. Well, I think I'm glitched out a bit again. Or it was. Well, time to talk a bit about the photo mode. Uh, what's good, what's bad. Uh, we've done it a couple times and sort of have an idea what it feels like. Uh, overall, pretty good. Biggest things to note, depth of field is really focused on the character. You don't get to choose your focal point. You're always focused on the character and depth of field uh sort of expands around the character you don't get to actually pick that's a that's probably what you want most of the time in this racing game um you know you want to be looking at the character but it does limit you when you're doing like landscape shots or something like that so keep that in mind uh you can't really change your focal point um you can use the map zoom to zoom out to higher elevations if you smash the uh, take a photo button while you're zooming in the map, you will take a photo wherever your camera is, which I assume means wherever your camera is is where you take your photo. So 
I imagine if you find other ways to break the camera away from the player, then you can also take photos there. So keep that in mind. If you find your camera in a weird position away from the player, uh, you might be able to use that to your advantage. Uh, I think it's cool that you have a fog versus weather uh, slider because you can sort of change the visibility of things independent of the weather conditions. I like that. Uh, there's no cropping, which is unfortunate. Um, there's another point that makes this a little less unfortunate, but it would be nice if you could crop your photos. Um, the biggest thing for me that I think is a concern is I can't easily save my screenshots. So if I want to save my screenshots, I have to actually, you know, I can take a picture like this and this uploads my photo, but as far as I can tell, it doesn't save my screenshot anywhere. At least I haven't been able to find out where I went on the discord and I went on Reddit and searched and no one seemed to have an answer for me. Uh, the answer I got on Reddit was Xbox and PlayStation users saying taking a screenshot with Xbox was what they were doing. So on PC, what I have been doing is hiding the settings and then all print screening, which you can't see there, but that's what I did. Uh, and then pasting into like Photoshop or GIMP uh, to actually save the photo. So that's my thought. Um, the depth of field and the saving is probably the biggest thing. Cropping, you can do in another program if you really want to. Otherwise, yeah, it seems pretty good. All the time of day settings and weather settings seem good. I do like the weather settings in this. That's my spiel on it. Hopefully you enjoyed it, learned some good things. Uh, so far I'm enjoying the game. It's been a little bit glitchy. There was one game breaking bug where I had to close the game out, uh, where I got locked in a menu screen, not a menu screen, but a, uh, a mission complete screen never finished. I kept pressing a to continue like the prompt told me and it didn't do anything. So, uh, it is a beta. So hopefully it gets sort of worked out before the end of the month. Other than that, I think, you know, minor visual glitches and things like that will get sorted. So been fun so far. Have a good one.